Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. There are few things scarier to a pilot than the sight of a flock of birds flying towards the plane while it's in flight. A bird strike is when a bird or multiple birds collide with the aircraft. Bird strikes often result in significant damage to the aircraft, leading to a loss of control and, in the worst case scenario, a potential crash. Historically, birds have caused damage to engines, wings, fuselage, or other critical components of planes. If the engines are damaged, they may lose power or fail altogether, which can be particularly dangerous during takeoff or landing when the plane is close to the ground. If the wings are damaged, the aircraft's ability to generate lift may be compromised, making it difficult or impossible to maintain altitude. To preserve the lives of pilots and their crew members, and to avoid damage to expensive fighter jets, which can cost upwards of $100 million, the U.S. military goes to extremes to mitigate the risks associated with bird strikes. JBSA Randolph is a small base in San Antonio, Texas, that has a big problem with birds. That's why employees with the U.S. Department of Agriculture are hired to keep the flight line as bird-free as possible when planes take off and land. Mike Pacheco rides around the periphery in a truck, blasting the sounds of predatory birds like falcons and hawks to scare birds away from the planes. Mike also uses pyrotechnics. The noise and the flashbang will hopefully startle the birds enough to keep them away. Then again, if the sound of a jet screaming down the runway doesn't frighten them, it's hard to believe this little flashbang will. And indeed, Mike's methods don't always work. In fact, this is the viewpoint from the cockpit of a T-38 jet that was struck by birds during takeoff at JBSA Randolph in January 2014. A bird was sucked into one T-38's engine, causing it to fail. It took a quarter of a million dollars to properly get the plane up and running again. During a bird strike, a pilot may feel a sudden jolt or a vibration. In the worst scenario, the aircraft loses power and becomes difficult to control. It's up to the pilot to quickly assess the situation and take appropriate action to try to land it safely to prevent damage and ensure the safety of the crew. Here's another frightening look at what happens when a pilot loses total control of a plane in the moments after a bird strike. Shit. This is a heads-up display video from a T-45C Goshawk. Watch as a large feathered friend flies towards the plane as it descends to the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base, Fort Worth in Kingsville, Texas. The 
aircraft engine ingests the bird, and seconds later, the video ends as the plane crashes into trees and brush below. Airports use various methods to keep birds at bay and reduce the risk of bird strikes. One is habitat modification. That's when the land around the runway is made less attractive to birds. Standing water sources that birds use for drinking and bathing is removed. Trees are often cut down to prevent birds from perching on their branches. Occasionally, Chemical repellents are applied to the grass or other vegetation around the airport to make it less enticing to birds. Falconry is another method of bird control. Falconry uses trained birds of prey to frighten other birds. Falconers bring the birds of prey to the airport to fly over the runways and scare away other birds. Airports also use large swaths of netting to cover areas where the creatures roost or nest. Netting is usually placed in airplane hangars or other structures at the airport or base. Lasers are one of the newest and perhaps most accurate bird strike prevention tools. In 2019, the company Robin Radar Systems announced it was handing over multiple bird radars to the Royal Air Force in the Netherlands. The company described this as a major milestone in its mission to increase safety at military air bases worldwide. Robin Radar Systems developed a bird detection system that uses advanced radar technology to detect and track birds in real time, allowing aviation operators to take proactive measures to avoid bird strikes quickly. It works by emitting radar signals that bounce off birds and return to the radar system. Algorithms are then used to identify the size, speed, and direction of the bird, and even its species. Robin radar has an impressive reach. It can detect birds around four miles away and follow them in real time providing aviation operators with an accurate picture of bird activity around the airport. The system also has the ability to be seamlessly integrated with other aviation systems, such as air traffic control, weather systems, and flight planning systems to provide a comprehensive view of what the birds are doing around the airport. This allows aviation operators to make decisions like rerouting aircraft, delaying flights, or using bird control devices. One of the key advantages of the Robin Avian Radar System is its ability to differentiate between birds and other objects such as aircraft or weather phenomena. 
This reduces the risk of false alarms and allows aviation operators to focus on the most relevant bird activity. There are other preventative measures that are less complicated, but just as effective. At Geneva Airport in Switzerland, simple metal spikes keep birds from resting and nesting on airport buildings. And tall fencing with barbed wire is placed around the tarmac to stop larger animals from meandering from the surrounding fields to the runway. Of course, even when every technology is used and every precaution is taken to keep birds and mammals away from planes, there is still the occasional encounter. That's why engineers are now crafting airplane cockpits to withstand bird strikes. Here, a windscreen bird strike test is conducted to verify that the canopy of the aircraft will protect the pilot, even if the airplane is hit by a bird at very high speeds. In this June 2020 test, the durability of the L-39 NG cockpit was successful. Watch as the debris is flung at the pilot enclosure and it doesn't crack and break. Occasionally, dead birds or bird substitutes are fired at airplane structures to simulate the impact of a bird strike. That way, engineers can then assess the damage and make any necessary modifications to improve their resistance. If a physical test is not possible, engineers can use computer simulations. Those simulations model the effects of bird strikes and allow them to see what would happen to the wings, engines, and fuselage in a real-world scenario. These simulations use data on bird size, speed, and mass to predict the damage that would occur. Engineers then apply the information gathered from simulations to design airplane parts that are more resistant to bird strikes. Overall, testing airplanes for bird strikes is an important part of ensuring the safety of members of the U.S. military and, really, any person who is taking part in air travel around the world. By designing planes that are more resistant to bird strikes and implementing bird avoidance strategies, airlines and aviation organizations can reduce the risk of bird strikes and improve the safety of air travel for passengers and crew. While it's impossible to eradicate the threat of birds entirely, from habitat management and radar systems to aircraft design modifications. There is a multitude of methods that can reduce the risk of a bird taking down a plane. Those in the aviation industry are doing everything they can to prevent bird strikes and to keep our planes and the people inside them safe. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. 
See you next time.